What's good YouTube, it's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the north side of the valley here at Jerry's Nugget. Now I'm going to their coffee shop for a prime rib lunch. Happy to have you along with me. Let's go check it out. Alrighty you guys, here we are seated at the coffee shop at Jerry's Nugget. Very nice spot. Very classic American coffee shop feel here. Inviting with all the warm tones. I'm liking the vibe. Now, those of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while know that prime rib is one of my favorite foods. Now, as I've been posting some prime rib spots here in Las Vegas, many of you have mentioned the coffee shop here at Jerry's Nugget. Now, typically I don't make my way this far up north, so this is my first time trying it today. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. All right, you guys, so here is the menu for Jerry's famous coffee shop. Feel free to pause if you want to take a look for your uh, favorite drinks here up at the front. Classic cocktails up here. And then they've got a selection of beers, as well as, uh, as well as what they have on draft. Here is their wine list. Their reds up there, their whites down here. And then we come to the starters. Got some shrimp cocktail, calamari, all of that fried goodness. I've heard good things about the zucchini sticks here. I think I'm gonna go and try that. And then you have your soup selection down here. And then a salad list, California Cobb, Caesar, very uh, good looking salads, as well as a tostada salad down here. You've got your sandwich list here. Grilled cheese, hot beef, chicken club, all this is looking pretty good. And a couple of cold sandwiches down here. Very nice. Here are the burgers, classic burger over here. And then all the specialty burgers. Looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the rest. We've got chicken, pork chops, ribs as well. Some seafood options down here. Rainbow trout, jumbo shrimp, as well as that Pacific salmon filet. Steaks and beef, New York steak, porterhouse. And what I'm here for, that prime rib. I'm gonna go ahead and try that English cut today. See if it's worth that value, $22.99. All right, next page, south of the border, taquitos, nachos, Mexican pizza, carne asada and the like. Looks very good. And then your breakfast items here. New York steak and eggs, ham and eggs, biscuits and gravy, all very good looking. Here are some additional breakfast items. We've got omelets here. And then your griddle items as well as your sides. We've got breakfast sandwiches over here, as well as a breakfast burrito. Skillets, and then a corned beef hash down here. Very nice. Let's see, I think we're uh, reaching the end of the menu here. Yep. Here we are at the desserts. Lots of different cakes that you can see up front. Strawberry cheesecake sounds kind of good today. A strawberry ring signature dessert. Actually, that sounds kind of good. We got an eclair as well. And then some additional tasty treats. Here is the beverage list. And then your general side list. And that rounds out the menu. Very nice menu. I'm gonna go in and put in my order and I'll see you when my appetizer arrives. Alrighty, you guys, my zucchini sticks just got here. These are looking so good. Look at the absolutely perfect golden brown color on these. You can actually see the herbs in the batter. The ranch dipping sauce also looks super thick. And oh my goodness, they are piping hot and super crispy in my hands. Let's go ahead and give them a taste. Oh yeah, that's very good. The exterior is so unbelievably crispy. It makes for such a satisfying bite. It's also really well seasoned with a bit of a Greek influence. The zucchini inside is actually still nice and firm. I really hate it when you get soggy zucchini sticks. Really good, but you know we got to try dipping it in the ranch. Super thick. Let's go and give it a try. That ranch dressing is excellent. Super thick, really creamy. 
and it's definitely got just the right amount of tang that you want from your ranch dressing. It's really good. Pairing that with the nice salty flavors of the zucchini stick, and this is a really good appetizer. Now the zucchini sticks are excellent, I'd highly recommend those. But along with every prime rib dinner, you get an option of super salad. I went with a salad today with a balsamic vinaigrette. Nice vibrant greens here. Color looks good, let's go and give it a taste. Yep, absolutely fine side salad there. The lettuce is fresh, nice and crisp. The cheese lends to a little bit of saltiness. I think the tomatoes are a little overripe, a little mealy, and they use Parmesan croutons here, giving a nice little salty element as well. The balsamic vinaigrette has that nice little bit of tang as well. No complaints with the side salad. All right, so far so good. Appetizers are definitely on point. I'm gonna go and continue enjoying these, and I'll see you in a little bit when my prime rib arrives. Alrighty guys, so my main just got here. This is looking pretty good. Got a solid, what looks like to be a 10 ounce prime rib here. Now the prime rib meal comes with the prime rib itself, along with what looks to be some pretty nice buttered toast, uh, as well as your choice of potato. I went with baked today. Now this is all looking really good. Let's go ahead and try the prime rib first. Looks pretty juicy, although they did trim off a lot of the fat cap. Still got a decent little chunk of fat right here. Let's go in and give it a taste. Unfortunately, the cut is a little tough. Now, while the exterior looks pretty juicy, unfortunately, the interior is a bit dry, and the meat is definitely a little bit chewy. I will say, though, it's got a nice beef flavor. Let's go and try it with some horseradish. See if this helps out with that flavor. Yep, I definitely like the kick that the horseradish provides. Now, unfortunately, today, the prime rib is relatively mediocre. I'd still say it passes the test of being a prime rib, it's just I've had much better before. All right, not to be dissuaded, let's go and try this toasted loaf up next. Loving the toast color on this, and it's looking pretty buttery. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh yeah, that's very good. The bread is nice and airy, but the toast gives it some great crunch and texture. Tons of butter at play here. It's very rich, and it's very tasty. All right, next up, let's go and try a bite of baked potato. I've got some butter and sour cream mashed up in here. Very soft as I was mashing up with my spoon. Let's go in and give it a taste. Oh, that's a very solid baked potato there. The potato is nice and soft. The butter and sour cream doing their job of adding richness. Definitely gets the passing grade. It's a good baked potato. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in and continue working on my meal here. Now, it's unfortunate it's not the best prime rib I've ever had, but it's certainly not the worst. So once I'm finished up with this, I'm gonna get a dessert. I'll catch you in a little bit when that arrives. All right, guys, so my dessert just got here and I got the strawberry cheesecake. A nice bright red color to this strawberry topping and very soft cutting into it with my fork. Let's go in and give it a try. Yep, that's a tasty cake. The strawberries have a really great sweetness here. Now, interestingly, they don't have a standard graham cracker crust here. They have more of a spongy cake crust, which is really appreciated. It's got a nice fluffy texture and a little bit of that additional vanilla flavor. Now, the cream cheese center is actually nice and smooth. Great texture there. Overall, I'd say the cheesecake definitely gets a passing grade. Alrighty, you guys, and that does it for my review here at Jerry's Nuggets Coffee Shop. Now my lunch came out to roughly $52 today before tip. My favorite thing that I ate today were those zucchini sticks. They were incredibly tasty. May honestly be the best zucchini sticks I've ever had. Now unfortunately the prime rib today was a little lackluster, but that could have just been an issue of the day. I've gotten a lot of friends as well as commenters who've sworn by the prime rib here. So maybe it was just an off day. I'm gonna go and come back and verify sometime later. However, for the same price point, I'd probably still end up going to Ellis Island or South Point for my prime rib. Now give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy Vegas with me. Shin, bye.